Welcome to the Cybersecurity Open House video. I'm Jock Schmidt. I'm the teacher for cybersecurity at Naperville North High School. My email address is here on the screen. Feel free at any time to contact me. Um, when we are back together at Naperville North, uh, cybersecurity class is held in the IT lab in room 138. For all the nitty gritty details about this course, uh, you can type in that link and it will take you to the detailed syllabus. It's also more easily available from the student's Canvas page. A little bit about me to get us started. I earned my Bachelor and Master's of Science in Computer Engineering from Case Western Reserve University. I worked as a software engineer for 11 years uh, before I decided to change careers and become a teacher. I went back to school and earned my Master of Arts in Teaching from National Lewis University. Um, and it's surprising to me that I am now starting my 14th full year as a teacher at NNHS. And this is my ninth year teaching computer science related classes. Uh, this is my first year and the first year that the cybersecurity class is offered at Naperville North High School. So I'm particularly excited about this class um, after working on the curriculum for the past two years. Uh, what this class is, is it's a two semester, it's a full year high school class. It's a weighted class, um, and in this class, we will be surveying all sorts of different aspects related to cybersecurity. We do leverage the Project Lead the Way um, cybersecurity class, and that has a collection of online materials um, and labs, um, but we have supplemented them with extensions to provide the rigor to justify the weighted designation. In our school district, we are fortunate that we have a strong computer science pathway and a strong IT pathway. Uh, the computer science pathway begins with computer programming one and computer programming two, each one semester courses. Uh, it's then followed by AP Computer Science A, a full year um, AP course. Um, and the capstone course for computer science is software engineering. Uh, we also have a couple of computer science electives. We have web design and game design. Our IT pathway starts with the IT Systems 1 and the IT Systems 2 courses. They're each one semester courses. Um, they are recommended, they are not required, um, in that they do provide some useful background information uh, that leads up to our IT capstone course, which is this course, the cybersecurity course. One question on everyone's mind is technology and how is this all gonna work during e-learning? Uh, the good news is during e-learning, all activities can be completed on your student Chromebooks. Um, obviously, we can't explore all of cybersecurity stuff just on the Chromebook itself, but through the Chromebook, students will be able to access virtual machines via the Project Lead the Way site, um, as well as accessing um, instances on AWS that I have created for those extensions as well. Um, during stages three and four, when we are back together in the building, we will use the classroom desktops for some activities as well. One really important thing I wanna emphasize with, with you, um, and we'll certainly be emphasizing with the students as well, is that the skills learned in this class must only be applied to class sanctioned activities focused on very specific systems. Um, the reason for that is there is a potential for students to get in serious trouble if they apply these skills inappropriately or where they should not be applied. If ever there are any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will clarify things. Um, you know, this, this is like the Spider-Man movie with great power comes, you know, great responsibility. Um, and, and I wanna make sure that we're all aware of that responsibility. Most of time in class, we are focused on learning activities. Learning activities is, are where students are exploring, they're discovering, they're taking risks, they're making mistakes, they're asking questions, they're helping each other, they're practicing, they're getting feedback, they're self-assessing. Um, what does that look like? That's when they're doing homework reading, that's when they're completing note sheets, um, they're uh, watching a lecture or demonstrations. We do a lot of class-wide or small group or solo practice activities. We have some quizzes. Um, some of these learning activities are, are scored um, and are entered in Infinite Campus, and that will comprise 10% of their coursework grade, but certainly not all. 
um, after completing the learning activities, then we focus on the summative assessments in which students demonstrate their mastery of these topics uh, through performance labs, through presentations, through exams. Um, all of these are scored and you can track your students' progress on Infinite Campus, um, where the summative assessments comprise 90% of the coursework grade. Students receive support from me in various different ways. I will post my office hours weekly on Canvas. During e-learning, those will be via Zoom. Um, they'll be in person, obviously, when we're in phase three and four. Uh, we have a Google chat room for the class, and that's a place where students can ask questions and answer each other's questions, as well as um, I can ask and answer questions. Uh, students, of course, can email me. Uh, that'd be preferred if it's personal or private in some way and, and not something uh, they want to share on the Google chat room. Um, and there are a lot of resources on Canvas as well. Students can also benefit from certain types of support from you. So I would encourage you to emphasize your students' understanding rather than just their grade. Um, I would encourage you and ask you to encourage your student to communicate with me. Um, I'm not a scary person. Whether it's uh, in real time or via email, that can be very helpful. Um, please encourage your student to complete assignments on time so that they don't get behind. Um, and encourage them to take advantage of all opportunities to demonstrate their understanding, uh, including reassessments. Please do share with me anything that's important for me to know about your particular student. Um, if you have told the school, that is great, but don't assume that they have necessarily told me. Our first semester, we're going to focus on three different units. We're going to start with a very important unit focusing on ethics and society as related to cybersecurity. We will then focus on security principles. And our final unit of the first semester will be on cryptography. The second semester, we will focus on penetration testing. Um, we will then focus on web security. And finally, we will focus on applied cybersecurity. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please don't hesitate to email me with any questions or comments or concerns. Uh, thanks again.